Welcome back to Fitman Aquatics everybody. So uh, I've been doing a lot of aquarium videos so I decided I need to make another fitness video or nutrition video whatever you want to call it. So I decided today would be a good day for like mindset or motivation Monday uh, and I'm gonna talk about the feeling you should have in the gym um, or at least the feelings I try to inspire people to have in the gym so a l for a long time I was a very uh, serious lifter um, some people might have even found me slightly intimidating just because of the crazy workouts I was doing. Um, I always looked very weird in the gym, especially, well, at least later years in college. But um, I, fe I feel like a lot of people in the gym look at me and feel as though I am either a uh, show-off or trying to scare them away and something like that uh, first off I want to say that no that's not the case I actually really enjoy people coming up to me and asking me questions I see a lot of people who look at me and try and watch the workouts that I do and I really just wish they would just come up and ask me hey what are you doing why are you doing that you know what muscle group does it work I'm I love questions so I love answering questions uh, that's why I feel that it improves my knowledge it improves everyone else's knowledge and so questions are the way that we all get a little bit smarter um, so I, I try and encourage you guys if there are people out there watching and you're going to the gym don't be afraid to go up to these people usually the biggest strongest and the scariest looking guys in the gym are generally going to be the nicest most helpful people you will find actually the hat I have on my head right now came to me from hands down one of the scariest people I've ever met in a gym um, he is a professional power lifter and a hulk of a human being. Um, he's probably at least six seven, and I would guess he looks like The Rock, basically. Um, so if that tells you anything, not usually the friendliest looking person to walk up to, especially with his gigantic Viking beard. But there was so much information that he gave me, him and his other powerlifting partners gave me um, a lot of insight, lots of help, and they're great people to help you spot. You know, you're never going to get crushed by a weight when you got these gigantic guys protecting you who definitely know what they're doing, know what to look for, and you just basically tell them, hey, if it... You know, if I start to look like I'm shaky or struggling, can you just help me or just don't help me at all? I'm telling you, give it a shot and you will find that these serious weightlifters, for the most part, are going to be the nice, nicest, most helpful people that you can. So I encourage people to ask questions. Uh, on top of that, I want to encourage people not to be scared of other people like working out with other people really a lot of times in the gym I see people who will stare at me while I'm working out and then try and sneak in on a machine at and I really wish they just come up to me like hey can I work in with you I used to get it all the time in college and I loved it I made tons of friends or at least weightlifting friends if you will that people who I could rely on for spots people who would rely on me for spots we could talk about our programs and learn more information from each other so I definitely recommend just trying to talk to people in the gym especially if you want to know what they're doing or maybe you just want to work out with them um, now I'm not saying all the time people will be like yeah you can just start working doing my program I'm not saying that at all because some programs are for specific reasons and not for everybody but 
there are times where I would say, you know, if you ask them and you've maybe worked out with them a couple times, why not? You'd be like, hey, would you mind like just doing a whole workout with me? I don't really know what I'm doing on, say, triceps or biceps or something. Would you mind doing a whole bicep workout with me? And then you guys try and plan for a date that you can meet meet up and get their valuable information. Because I'm telling you, you work out with these professionals in the gym and they will show you all kinds of trips, trips, tricks, tips, all kinds of information to make you a better and safer lifter, um, as well as it just, it makes them feel better. Uh, I know for me, I've had multiple friends that I've tried to take into the gym. Some of them took to it much better than others, uh, but it was always a great experience. It always helped push me further. Um, having that extra person there, it helps me a lot to just like push myself further. Um, now for me right now, it's not too bad just because I love working out, but when I first started out and I didn't love it or I was at periods where I didn't love it, having that person helping to push me makes a world of difference uh, no matter what you are trying to accomplish in the gym. Um, along with that, I would say focus on your body. Um, and what I mean by that is try to feel the muscles. For a long time, I was just a guy who's throwing weights around. Yeah, I could lift these big these big weights and all kinds of things, but I wasn't really focused on how my muscles felt. And now that I have such bad shoulders, um, constant shoulder problems, I really, really that's my main focus in the gym above all is does it feel okay am i feeling it where i should if i feel if the weight doesn't feel right or like i feel like it's i can lift it but i'm not getting the feeling or sensation or soreness in the right part of my body then maybe i need to go down weight um so that i get a better feeling on the particular muscles i'm trying to work uh, so, right now, I definitely am trying to focus on how does that muscle feel? Is it feeling tired? Um, can it go more reps? You know, is this hurting my shoulder? Is this hurting a different part of my body? It's, it has helped me a lot focus more on how I'm feeling internally. And I would say this now make sure you have proper form and you know what you're doing but for some easier exercise especially things like cables or machines close your eyes that sounds weird sometimes people aren't big on having their eyes closed when other people are around but i'm telling you if you can close your eyes in the gym and really focus on that muscle you will feel it so much more you'll feel the contraction you'll feel that squeeze you'll feel like you know oh my arm was slightly tilted a little bit to the right let me correct that and i can do that with my eyes closed at this point because i know what right should feel like so when you get to the point where you really feel like i know what's right in these particular exercises again definitely work lower um intensity or isolation exercises you know things like tricep pull downs or things like bicep curls once you have that mastered because there's a lot of flexibility in those exercises but also um it's one of those things that people quite often master early on when they're weightlifting master let me rephrase that um but close your eyes you'll really feel the squeeze and if you start doing that i think you will actually realize that certain weights though they may seem like very small amounts you can get so much better of a workout because you're doing it properly you're feeling that muscle you are feeling the squeeze at the top of that contraction um, you are feeling if there's any discomfort in areas so that is if there's one take home I have for this entire video, it would be 
focus on what you're feeling internally. Um, if you're, if it, if an exercise doesn't feel right, if it's causing pain somewhere, all of those things, and either write it down or just hold on to it and look it up later or ask someone. Again, the other take home message, ask professionals. If you see this huge ass guy with these giant muscles, chances are good he has got a pretty good form when it comes to most of his exercises and he is a good person to spot you and critique your form. Now, I'm not saying they're all perfect, but I'm saying there are people and you spend enough time in a gym that you can point out the people who or at least I can point out the people who I would want to spot me if it were to critique the form of something that I've never tried before. And especially if you've seen this person do that kind of exercise before, that's a pretty good indicator that they know what the proper form should be and they can build on it. So those are my two mindset slash motivational Monday um, insights when it comes to lifting weights. I hope you guys found this informative. Um, if you did, give me a like. That'd be great. Also, sharing it helps me out a lot and subscribing to my channel. But if you have more questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I am more than happy to answer any questions about form, um, this topic in particular, or any other weightlifting exercise topics that you guys have. So just drop a comment down below if there's anything on your mind and I will be sure to get back to you all in a reasonably quick fashion. Life's pretty busy right now, but I will do my best. So until next time, you guys keep pushing yourselves in the gym and I hope that this has helped encourage you to step out of that comfort zone a little bit and make you that much better of a weightlifter, runner, whatever you are.